Hello everyone, I'm Reza from Red Acad and today in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a specific visual in Power BI which is probably one of the least known visuals called ribbon chart to do ranking uh, of the data simply. Let's check it out. Uh, to do this example, you need to have the copy of AdventureWorks uh, dataset. You can find it in the link down below under the video in my uh, blog article. Um, and uh, when you get the AdventureWorks, you just need a few tables. For this example, I'm not using them all. Uh, so let's see how this uh, uh, new visual works. It's not a new visual, actually. Ribbon chart has been in Power BI for like two, three years already. Uh, it's not one of the original sets added in 2015, it's added a little bit after that, but very important visual. Let me show you how it is used. This visual, despite the fact that it's very useful, it haven't been used that much because a lot of people don't know how it works. So let me show you how this visual works. I have a sales, uh, uh, sales table, my internet sales table. And in my fact internet sales table, I have a sales amount. I'll bring that to show here. And then I have also the date. Let's say I'll bring my date date field over here. So with just a normal measure and uh, one field to a slice and dice, this acts like a normal column chart. So you won't really see the difference of this with a normal column chart. You might say, okay, even normal column chart is probably better. Uh, but the main difference for this visual is you see that when you add something into the legend. So let's say I bring gender to the legend. I want to see how different genders uh, revenue have been. So I'll bring gender to the legend. Uh, and as soon as I do that, then you see this visual uh, pops up and it shows just like this. Now you might wonder what this visual is. Um, when you think about it, when you have a look a little bit, you'll see that the black area is male revenue and green area is female revenue. And this visual basically is showing you the ranking. So the one at the top in every column is the one that has, has the highest value of that measure. In this case, in 2005, uh, revenue from male category was more than revenue from female category. That's why that comes first. In 2006, the revenue from female category was more than revenue from male category. And you see this switch uh, and it goes all the way like that. So it shows you the ranking. If I compare this with the normal stacked column chart, this is how normal stacked column chart shows you. It doesn't really show you the ranking. If I compare it with uh, something like an area chart or line chart, it will show that there was a switch at some point, but still it doesn't show the ranking as nice as this one is showing. And also in addition to the ranking, it also shows you some uh, interesting information. If you hover on the column, uh, it will show you that value. But if you hover on the ribbon itself, if you hover your mouse on these areas, these are ribbon areas, you'll see quite useful information like this that says, for example, the female sales in 2005 was that, in 2006 is this, this is the change and the percentage of that change and some ranking information which says that the female rank in 2005 was two, now it's one and it's one up rank. And we can get the same thing when, when you hover on the male category. Quite useful chart. If you want to achieve something like this, you have to at least combine two, three other charts together to get to something like this very powerful chart. And you have also some customizations. Like for example, you can go to the format, enable data labels. Having data labels is all, always helpful. I always recommend that. On the ribbon side of it, you can add some uh, spacing like this. Um, you can match series colors or have different color if you want. You can set the transparency of these, make them a little bit more transparent if you like, uh, put a border around it. So you can do some customizations uh, on this uh, ribbon chart as well. Uh, that was what my video was about. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. We have uh, Power BI and AI videos always sharing every week. Um, and also, uh, if you want to try it out, go and uh, use the link down below uh, to go to the blog post and download the dataset and use it. Thank you.